The Miami Dolphins dropped 70 points against the Denver Broncos. And it was plays like this that are not the typical plays run around the league. It's the creativity in the McDaniel scheme and system. It's the execution by some of the players. So today we're going to look at some of the explosive plays as well as the creativity of Mike McDaniel's offense. Starting with this first play here. This is a great job. You know, you get your running back lined up out wide, motion him in to the right side of the quarterback. And then within that, you're going to also motion your fullback, who's on the left side of the quarterback at the moment. You're going to put him in motion, and he's basically going to become the lead blocker for your running back. You're going to pitch it to your running back to the same side the motion's at with the fullback. And you're going to run a really interesting concept. This is almost like a pin-pull concept with some zone elements to it on the back side. To me, just a really nicely designed play. Great execution. Uh, you can see by the wide receiver here, Tyreek Hill. That's a fantastic block. And within that, you can see the running back's going to take the pitch. You can see the fullbacks leading. You can see some backside blocks coming. And the running back here does a really nice job cutting it and really finding that lane. This play popped for seven yards, but there are so many plays like this on tape. Very fired up to get into this film breakdown. Let's jump right into it. Check this next play out. You're going to get a Tyreek Hill 54-yard touchdown pass. But to me, the biggest part within this play is the offensive line. To me, the offensive line does a great job giving the quarterback time. To really go through the reads allows the wide receiver to really get downfield and actually find the open lane. And yes, the cornerback messes up within this play. Let's back up and really look at the coverage and really look at what it is exactly that happens. So this play is actually a cover six, although the corner here isn't at the line of scrimmage pressing, which is the general cover six. He is still playing the flats. You got the safety at the top who's going to really take away the top half. And then you got the two safeties here who are basically going to split half the field. And then you'll get three guys that'll basically play underneath. So to me, what ends up happening within this play, and it's very clear, is the play action, the pulling guard is going to suck in the inside linebacker here. And within that, as soon as the receiver here runs this dig concept, you can tell the corner, the safety are going to jump that. Because they are threatened by this right here. Both guys jump it. And with that, Tyree K was going to be able to find the lane. He's going to go right around that. And Tua Tungvaloa is going to hit him. And of course, from that point forward, when Tyree kills in open space, the guy's very, very hard to tackle. And just like that, you score a 54 yard touchdown pass. But again, the creativity, the execution, the offensive line holding up and giving the quarterback the time. Like to me, this is such a clean pocket. So much time. This is the type of success you're going to have if you're not able to get after the quarterback. And of course, people won't say it, but the Miami Dolphins have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. This unit has been crushing it. To me, this is a top five to seven offensive line. And we're going to get into a couple other plays that really show you how great they are at executing their blocks. Let's get into the next snap. All right, guys, check this next run now. This is a 15-yard run by Raheem Mostert. A really nice design once again. To me, this is the unique thing that Mike McDaniels has implemented this season. First time that I'm seeing this type of offense being run. And what's interesting is other teams are going to start to do this as well. Think about what's happening within this play. You have Tyree Kale lined up at the inline tight end position. He's going to motion outwards, which is not something we've seen a whole lot. He's going to get that running head start. And to me, right away, that's going to stress a defense. It's going to stress a safety, a corner that may be in man coverage and may have to follow him. And within all that, you're actually running the football. So guys are not 100% certain if they're going to be able to step up and really feel the run fits. I want you guys to think about this scenario right here. When it comes to being able to defend the run, a big part of it is the safeties to be able to step up and help build this run fits. When you put Tyree Kill in motion, you already got one guy that's kind of going to follow that. On top of that, these safeties aren't going to come up. These safeties are scared of the deep there. So these guys are going to be 10, 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. So you already got three guys out of there that are not going to be helping to defend the run. And then from there, you have some really nice down blocks, some really nice cutoff blocks by the offensive lineman. And we will watch this from the other angle as well. To me, this is an almost impossible play to stop because you don't have the numbers if you're the Denver Broncos. And of course, the blocking and execution by the offensive lineman is perfect. Look at this play from the backside and just look at how great of a job this is. Uh, you got to give credit here to River Kerkraft here with the really nice down block, really stops the defensive end in his tracks. On top of that, you guys back this up and watch the left tackle and center. 
The left tackle is going to reach up here, cut off this inside linebacker. The center is going to reach, cut off the other linebacker. 77 is going to take a step and shut down this guy. Really nice down block here. Tyreek Hill is going to pull the other safety. And then basically you got one other guy off the edge here who's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one block with Alec Ingold. You literally just don't have the numbers if you're the Denver Broncos. Look at these blocks being executed. The left tackle, the center, the block by the receiver. Those are all great blocks. The seal off block by 77. To me, this play is impossible to stop, especially if the corner here does what he does. This cornerback runs so far out wide, and that doesn't work. Patrick Sertain has to do a better job within this play, and I understand how difficult of an assignment this is for any cornerback. But here's the thing. If you're a cornerback, running as far over here to the left does not work. The fact that all of these blocks are basically made, the further you run, the further you're widening this gap. And you're basically going to give the running back a massive lane to work with. And that's the beauty of this play, because even if Sertain jumps the inside, well, then you have a massive lane to the outside. If you go far to the outside, well, the running back will cut it to the inside. This is part of why Mike McDaniel is such a great coach. He designs these plays so nicely. And the offensive line execute them as well, right? To me, Teron Armstead is one of the best left tackles in the NFL. Austin Jackson has started to put it together. Isaiah Wynn has came over and done a really nice job at that left guard position. Robert Hunt has looked good as well, right? So to me, the offensive line's done a really, really solid job. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Now check this next run now. This is the 26-yard run by Devon A-Chain. Very similar run here to the last run that we just saw. Uh, this one right here... Is similar it is a little bit different a little bit different concept within this play uh, you don't actually have a fullback in on this play so instead of the fullback leading which Alec Ingo led on the last time this time you're going to get the tackle to pull out and be the lead blocker but again very similar elements to the last play you're going to get this time Raheem Mozart to pull out in front you're going to pitch it the left tackle is going to lead block get a bunch of down blocks and this play is just a difficult play to stop the blocking downfield by some of these offensive linemen are so damn good. If you guys watch the left guard, Isaiah Wynn, on this one, look at him reach out in front of the defensive tackle, and he's basically won. He sealed it off, and just like that, you have massive cutback opportunities within this play. The center does a really nice job as well. He has a reach block, and he has to really cut off the backside linebacker, and he's going to be able to get there as well. Just a really nice job with the run to the left of the formation. And on this one, 26 yards just like that. That's a really, really nice job executing by the entire offense. Check this play out and look at how difficult of a play this is to stop from a pre-snap perspective. You're going to put the wide receiver here in motion across the formation. With that, you're going to snap the ball and you're going to play action to your running back to the same side. So the defense does not know if this is a run to the left of the formation. But at the same time, you bring Tyreek Hill across the middle of the field. You're going to throw him a pass, and just like that, you're going to pick up nine yards. It's that easy to pick up nine yards, but really it starts with all the pre-snap motions. It starts with the pre-snap to the left, play action to that same side, bring Tyree Kill across the formation, and you hit him just like that for a first down. Let's get into the next snap. Check this play out. You're going to get a 17-yard run. Watch Tyree Kill go into motion, and watch the run of this one. This one's going to end up going towards the middle to right of the formation, and this is by design. This is called a win back run. So although the pitch is going to initially be to the left of the formation, this is meant to go towards the right. So this is just another element within the run game. You pitch it to the left. If you seal the front side defensive end off and you start flowing over to the left as an offense, everybody's going to kind of flow that way. And you even pitch it towards the left, but really it's a run towards the right. This is a great job right here. Great design. Uh, something that Sean McVay's ran a lot a couple of years back. Really started to get other teams to kind of take notice. And of course, you know, Mike McDaniel comes from a similar scheme of the Sean McVay's. You see plays like this really pop. It's a great job. It's a great counter to really that wide zone to the left right there. So it's a really nice job. Let's get into the next snap. Watch this block here by Austin Jackson. He's going to do such a nice job with it. This play's going to pop for five yards. These are the type of blocks that ultimately allow play to work. To me, this is a really, really nice job by a guy who's a very good offensive tackle. I know some people didn't like him as much a couple years back. Some people called him a bust because he was a first-round pick. But the guy's been a really, really good offensive lineman, in my opinion, this season. Yes, he's not perfect. 
but he's still only 24 years old. And he's already played four years in the NFL. And to me, this guy's going to continue to develop and continue to get better. And you already see plays like this. So really nice shot right there by Austin Jackson. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Check this play out. A really nice design once again. You're going to get a 40-yard run on this one. Just a really, really, really nice design once again. To me, this is part of what makes Mike Daniel an absolute genius. You know, the pre-snap motions that certain teams run is one thing. But the pre-snap motion that the Miami Dolphins run and Mike McDaniels obviously designs is a completely different beast. I mean, look at this play here. You put the first wide receiver in motion, and you're going to play action this to the inside. Pour your left guard to the right of the formation. All while your running back who was lined up on the line of scrimmage is going to come around and take the end around. And now you have a guy pulling out in front. You have a running back with the ball, and the defense is going to flow to the top because of that pulling guard, number 77 here. That design of it, that element, the eye candy that happens to a defense is freaking Hard to stop. I mean, to me, the way Mike McDaniel's scheming up some of these plays, the way he's getting his playmakers to ball and these different concepts, this is top-tier offensive play design. You guys will see it from the end zone angle here. Great job. You get the guy pulling, fake it to the running back, turn around, pitch it to your other running back. All while you got some really nice cutoff blocks here, you get three offensive linemen out in front. That's a very, very nicely designed, executed play. And of course, you got to give credit to the rookie running back. This play doesn't work without him making people miss, without his vision and his ability to cut back. To me, this is part of why I think the Miami Dolphins this season have a real shot at winning the Super Bowl. The offensive design, the play calling is top notch. It's, it's just unique as hell. And they got guys like Tyreek Hill and Mozart, and you got guys like Jalen Waddle who should be healthy coming up this week. Devon A. Chain has came out of basically nowhere. That doesn't even include some of the other guys like Alec Ingold, who could technically be a weapon. Cedric Wilson Jr. Chris Brooks had a pretty solid game as well, and he's still young as hell too. And you can just go down the list. There's so many playmakers in this offense. And you put all that together behind this quarterback, the offensive coordinator, and the offensive line here, which is a top five to seven offensive line. This season is going to be a special season for the Dolphins. I think the 70 point game is not all we're going to end up seeing. I think we're going to see more from this team. And I think people are going to really be shocked as the Dolphins really push to win a Super Bowl this year. It's going to come down to the defense and how good the defense can be. Because plays like this, the execution, the design of it, this shit's special as hell. And I know this is the backup center at this point, but look at the center. He's going to double team with the starting left guard and Isaiah Wynn. He's going to get this guy out of there and then he's going to turn back to the inside and he's going to look for the next threat, which would be the defender here. And he just picks it off. And the running back sees it. And he's just too fast. He's going to outrun everybody. 67-yard touchdown. You're already up 63-20. to 20. You're already up by 43 points. And you run for a 67-yard touchdown. This is special. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.